Come closer. Closer. Hey, you wanna know a secret? All that crazy shit I have you guys doing for your labrum? That shit is working. Yes, that's right. All the things that I've been telling you guys to do on these videos has been, in my view, working. I'm getting a lot of different emails from different people saying thank you for putting up the videos. So it seems like it's helping a lot of people, which was ultimately the goal. So you're welcome. I'm really glad it's helping you guys out. Uh, it's helping me as well. But I have fantastic news. For any of you guys that have been itching to go back to the gym, I've officially gotten the okay from my doctor to go ahead and go balls out in the gym. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Push-ups, anything, bench press, curls, triceps, back, you name it, you can go ahead and start doing it now. Now again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just letting you guys know what my doctor told me seeing with my results. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's happy with the results of my range of mobility. So he wants to see the shoulder come down. There's certain areas, and you guys will see it in a video here that I have up coming up, that will show you how the shoulder should look when it's turning in the back from the shoulder blade and how mine actually looks so far still. So there's still some range of motion that needs to get worked through. There's still a little bit of, of irritation, I would call it. I wouldn't call it necessarily pain. Irritation when you come up and you probably will feel the same thing. In his assessment, it's just straight up scar tissue. In fact, he's 100% positive it's just scar tissue. And it's just giving me the irritation and it's holding back my, uh, I guess you can't say my range of motion. I guess I can. So it's holding back a little bit my range of motion and where the progress should be. So to counteract that, he wants me to start working out. So, and that includes bench press, anything really you want to do in the gym. And I was really excited to hear this news. I heard it last Friday. So I didn't want to actually make a video yet. I wanted to make sure that I work out, see how it felt, put out another video of myself in the gym, showing you guys some dynamic stretches that is really, really going to help. I see a very big difference in my 90 degree motion here. Um, I did feel a little tight today, and that's just because I was working out, so I felt the tightness. It's because my muscles are starting to contract, muscle fibers are rebuilding, um, especially today I did back. Last Friday I actually did chest. But again, I wanted to do the workouts first, record them, just like I've always done with my workouts with you guys, and show you guys exactly what I'm doing, and give you guys a bunch of tips that hopefully will help you in continuous, continuing your progression to getting better. So, with that said, I want to show you guys a couple stretches that, for me, feel really, really good. And I didn't realize how much I needed this movement until... I think it was last week, Wednesday, and I've still been working out legs, still doing out core, but there's certain movements that I was tr staying away from. So the squat machine I was staying away from. Uh, I was staying away from anything really where I had to put any pressure on my shoulders. So I did a v, v squat rack where basically it's a padded rack where the pad kind of sits on here. You put plates off on the side, and I've done videos on this before. It's a really good machine to just kind of get you used to and squatting all the way down and coming back up. It's a good training machine. Um, but then in this particular instance, I went to a squat machine. So let's kind of go into this video and there's a bunch of different angles that I want to show you guys and a bunch of different things that I'm doing in the video that hopefully will help you guys out. Check it out. So here's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just stretching out. I'm stretching out my arms. And if you notice, my shoulder isn't coming down. My shoulder blade is still staying up. And it's really annoying to actually see it like that. Then you see here I'm kind of taking a bit of a 90 degree angle and giving some outward rotation to my shoulder. Now here's what I noticed last week. I tried to actually grab the bar. I just wanted to put the bar on my shoulders and see how it felt. And it's awkward. It's like one shoulder comes up and the other one just stays down where it should be. So the labrum surgery shoulder stays up. The other one kind of stays down. And here's a little bit more that I wanted to show you guys. And I'm stretching it. I'm forcing my shoulder down while I'm holding the bar. And here you'll get a better angle on my left shoulder so you can see what I mean. My left shoulder is staying up. It's not letting, letting myself grab 
the actual bar the way I want to grab it. So I'm stretching it out. I'm forcing my neck to actually push it back a little bit. And if you guys can get into the motion, you'll see what I'm talking about just doing this thing. Here is another video, um, different angle that I wanted to show you guys as well. If you notice, notice how my left shoulder it touches the bar. You don't want your left shoulder to touch the bar. You don't want your shoulders to be touching the bar like that. You want to be basically like that, just like it was right there. Here I'm trying to find where exactly the middle is. But basically you want the rack on your shoulders to not touch on one side more than the other. So I'm just stretching it out, getting that 90 degree rotation, moving my shoulders back so that way it gets a nice good stretch. That's what you want it to look like, right? So I'm forcing my shoulder down and it's actually exhausting. So I had to kind of take a break here, take a breather because you're kind of holding in your breath a little bit. Here I'm doing the same thing on the squat machine but I'm just making sure I just hold the sides and push in. Now some of these things, obviously you guys probably don't have a gym or if you don't have a workout gym, here I'm actually just going up over and just stretching my arm, making sure I good, get good dynamic stretches. So if you don't have a gym, do this. This is probably the best angle that I can give you guys. Find a corner in a room that has no obstructions, hold the wall and lean in. Now if you notice, my left shoulder is the one that has the surgery, that's the one that stays up. And it, you can notice the bending in the right shoulder that is not evident in the left shoulder. So again, this is going to be a little bit painful because you're stretching. So you're going to, again, 90 degree angle on the arms and push in and make sure you get a nice solid stretch onto the actual movement. Now it is, it is going to be exhausting a little bit, just like all the other workouts are but it's gonna help. It's gonna help significantly in, in just that movement of being able to bring your shoulder down because we still need the rotator cuff to fire at the same time as the labrum, your bicep, and your shoulder are firing. Rotator cuff is still for some reason stiff because it hasn't been used like it should be. It should be able to do this very easily and all the strengthening exercises that we're doing are working as well, but we wanna make sure we get that stretch and it's hard to get that stretch if you don't have a physical therapist. Um, I'm going to try to put up another video showing you what kind of stretches you should be doing at home as well that you might have someone else help you with that could be helpful. It's going to take me a little while because I want to perfect it for you guys as best I could. Again, I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not a doctor, but I'm going through this just like you guys are. Um, and it's painful, yes. It's a slow process, yes but it definitely is worth it because again, I'm back in the gym and I'm actually pretty excited about being back in the gym. And uh, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and keep subscribing, keep asking me questions. Ask me any questions you guys want at uh, CherokeeHacksLife at gmail.com. My name is Cherokee. It's not Cherokee Hacks Life. It's kind of funny when people put that up. Send me an email. Hey, Cherokee Hacks Life. <laughs> My name is Cherokee. Um, so please feel free, ask any questions, comment down below, thumbs up the video, share it with your friends. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.